Anakins. But we are on a streak of 36. And our last win was on the Stealth Sea. So we're going to try to not have fireworks by our, sh by our ship blowing up. And uh, play some FTL here. At least for 24 hours, America is the undisputed best country in the world. Okay. Your pup isn't bothered by fireworks. It's gunshots that set him off. Well, depending on what kind of fireworks are going on outside, they can sound like gunshots. Um, so currently, uh, on our current streak, we've played Crystal B, Crystal A, Rock A, Zoltan A, Fed B, Zoltan B, NGA, Stealth C. We're still randoming a ship, and if it's one we've played before, we will do no repeats. So, um, let me get my other screen here. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's random a ship, see what we get, and hopefully not die to Stealth B or Zoltan C. Random ship in three, two, one hand, random. Slug A. We have not done any of the slug ships. Okay. Slug A is an interesting one. Let me uh, get the prediction started and then get name requests done here. Will Red beat Slug A? Question mark. Yes or no. Two minutes on the predictions. Two minutes. And let's see what kind of requests we got. I just have two slugs. Do I have any slug requests from... I don't know if I have any YouTube slug requests, actually. I think I got a bunch of Lanius. Stealth B pilot. There's a Mantis request. Uh, Roxy, Mantis, Lanius, Human, Lanius. Okay, no slug requests from YouTube, it looks like. Uh, there's still people in the UK who want to use Imperial measurements or pre-decimalized currency or other such nonsense. Okay. <laughs> Whatever that means. Slug A is an interesting one. Uh, it's got a bunch of tools to crew kill. Um, but it also only has two crew and sometimes can have problems killing certain ships uh meters slow uh centimeters and millimeters for smaller distances we just can't make up our minds slug a did kill us last time here i think you're right i think this streak started with slug a because it ended our previous streak so well oh, the Elden ring short was really popping off good to see yeah thank you for highlighting it zach dog i slightly altered it and did my own to make it shorter but uh yeah it was looks like uh it's gotten some decent views that's cool you, you got the good ideas for the shorts so three nebula jumps gets us 12. We can get some early crew kills for like a free flak would be nice. Uh, the ship does have a lot of stu stuff to sell at the first store. We want to get shield as quickly as possible on this ship for sure. What was it about this ship that got us killed on Slug A last time? Was it just we couldn't find good weapons? I can't remember. Okay, now the requests are coming in. As soon as I jump, the slug requests come in. That sucks. What a shitty start. What a bad start. Okay, um, let's see here. Welshy and Paramortal. First jump, five free hull damage. We don't have any blue options for that, but that's still a 50-50 on not just taking free hull damage. Uh, yeah, the Elden Ring short. Yeah, the, with the where we parried the swamp guy, yeah. Miyamoto loves his swamps. True, true. Alright, yeah, let's start off with a free five hole damage chat. It's great. What a great way to start. Uh, this is a dead end down here, so if I go down here, I gotta come back up through there. Okay, what do we got? Aegis civilian ship. Zoltan shield ship. Okay. Um, if that's an ion stunner, I let the heavy laser fire first. God, this sucks. Zoltan shield, at least it doesn't have a missile, I guess. I'll have a two, I will find two flak ones. That's literally not possible, I'm pretty sure. So I think Ion Stunner means I let... I'm pretty sure Heavy Laser hits our shields before Ion Stunner travel time hits our shield. Is that right? Ion Stunner... I'm pretty sure is like... 8 seconds and Heavy Laser is 9 or something. Heavy Laser is at 9, Ion Stunner is... Oh, Ion Stunner is at 10, even better. I think I on blast mark one is eight. Okay, it's stunner. Okay. Um, actually, want to get you on weapons. Actually. Oh crap! I should have depowered. We'll come up in time. Yo. Oh, that was close. Okay. Um. Well, that's shit. Okay, but his, his heavy his heavy laser's offline at least. Breach it. And then of course he starts dodging. Okay. Oh, 
Come on, shields. Okay, the heavy laser's staying down, thank God. It will not stay down, no freaking NG repairs. Come on, breach it, breach it. There we go. There we go. Now we can hit some now we can get the shields down. And of course he has a value point in shields. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? I used a lot of bombs here. Okay. All right. Uh, not an ideal first fight. Uh, we got our five hull damage back, though. Uh, the five free hull damage countered by five repair. Still a net negative because of the heavy laser, but I guess I should be glad it was only one heavy laser. Ugh, Jesus. This ship kind of sucks with against any ship that dodges anything, so... This weapon system is not very good, honestly. You need everything to hit. You'd think it'd be great because all you need is a flak to make it not terrible, but, you know, a lot of ships just need a flak to not be terrible. Right, I'm one scrap short of my shield value point. Oh my god. Um, we've seen two ships this sector. We've seen two Zeldon shields this sector. Thanks, FTL. I'm going to take their free stuff. Screw that crap. There's no way I'm taking a second Zeldon shield fight. Sector one. It's with all the Zeldon shields, FTL's a piece of crap. It cheats. That's what it is. Piece of crap who cheats. That's just FTL things. Alright, uh, if I don't see a store down here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Alright. Yeah, definitely take a, a bribe if it's another Zoltan shield ship. Okay, a shieldless ship with free shield hack. Alright, well, I will say the free shield hack, this is like the worst build for it to use shield hack, but still. Free shield hack, okay, it's fine. It's fine, thank god he doesn't have a heavy laser. Both that. shots to my weapons. F U F T F. Literally both shots to my weapons. You piece of crap. Here. You just utter piece of crap. All right, it's only one damage. It's fine. Literally every shot hit my weapons. Just, just amazing. Uh, did I just breach? Did we, we breached, didn't we? So I can train weapons now. Is that right? I think you might be right. Actually, I think we can actually train weapons here. Make sure I, I think we breached the weapons. Let me just watch for a bit here. Make sure weapons aren't coming up. This looks. I'm pretty sure I. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard the breach. All right, let's train weapons. Definitely worth. Definitely worth on this ship with not ideal starting weapons for Zeltan Shield ships and some other strong weapon or strong enemies. Pretty slow training with just a bio beam. None of the slug ships play nice with Zeltan shields early. Their slug sees primary weakness, huh? Okay. What's up, Ash? Just watched my previous run for YouTube. Hope I have a good luck on today. Thank you. I was worried when we fought, when we had two first sh ships being Zeltan shields, and our first jump was a 5 free hole damage, but if we can find a store with a weapon, I'll feel a lot better. Like, any one power weapon would make this. Any one or two power projectile weapon would be amazing. Even an ion, which wouldn't be ideal, but would be nice. Alright, how are you doing on this? It's gonna take you a little bit longer. The bio beam sounds like a band saw with a speed hack. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna cut this ship in half. So that's the plan. It's a little loud, actually. Uh, almost done, at least. Almost done. Ten more. Do I want to cross, you know what, I hate to do it, but I think I better cross train. I better cross train, so maybe turn down your audio. We're going to cross train. Sounds like a mosquito. <laughs> mosquito literally inside your ear, I guess. I should, I should, we're on a streak of, what are we, 36? We should take the cross training when we have the opportunity, even if it's slightly boring or annoying. It's definitely worth Anti-bio beam go. <laughs> yes, it does. 
Uh, I'm excited because my little brother uh, messaged me before now, and he might actually join us in playing some WoW Ascension, which anytime I get my brother to play a game with me is fun, because when you work a full-time job, sometimes it can be too much brain power, and you're even too tired to have fun playing video games. So if my brother is actually going to join, join us for some games, that'll be nice. Uh, Alright, 20 more. Almost there. Almost there. Actually, you go heal while you're doing, while they're doing that. Okay. That's... Where is it? There, it's done. I didn't... I didn't hear the sound of it finishing. The burr, burr, burr sound was so loud. Didn't even hear the upgrade sound. Must have been overwhelmed. You were too tired to play Ascension? Too much last night? The workout was brutal, huh? Hey, good workout is a good time, though. It happens with you and your brother, too. Even built you a PC so we could play together. <laughs> All right. Can you give me 22 scraps so I can... Holy okay! And actually, pretty good scrap gains. Holy shnikes was that a reward. Okay. Okay. Two extra shots is huge. Alright, so I can go to the store, sell my slug repair gel, and get my shields online, and we are looking not terrible. Um, I actually do I want to greet a little bit before the store. I could go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, maybe one, two, three, four, five. I'm, I'm going to greet a little bit here, actually. I'm going to go two jumps before the store, because with that free... Pick up. I feel stronger against random ships we could fight. We could get hacking if we sell repair gel bio beam with one more scrap reward. Yeah, I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, and we get eight, seven, eight. I'm gonna actually greet a little bit more than that. Go for two jumps here. If we get a crew kill fight. That'd be even better. Uh, outpost. Wow. Uh, this is a safe fight that we can crew kill. Um, how do I do it, though? He has a heal bay. How do we crew kill this? How do I crew kill when he has a heal bay and a repair drone? Yeah, might as well train. Good call. Good call. Let's train our dodges. Um, and it's just our dodges and shields we need to chain now. But good call. Uh, they don't go to med bay after their first zap. How much does anti bio beam do? 60? So we can kill two with two with two zaps, apparently. Okay. They do if the ship is calm. Okay. So I need to I need my dual lasers to hit a system. But even then, won't only one guy go to repair and then the other two will go heal? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to mess with this a bit actually. We're gonna do our trading, then we'll mess with that. So let me swap these guys. Yeah, I can hit two guys with the bio beam, obviously. So maybe I do a laser shield and swipe. The pilot won't be pulled. The weapons guy will be pulled. So I should swipe the two guys that aren't going to move, I think. You're going to get this up, Bilbo. To Rand. I mean me. To me. I mean, I mean Farb. I mean whoever you are. Oh, double hit. You mean... Okay, I think I know what you mean, actually. So, double hitting with a single beam swipe, I assume means... Hitting a crew... with a beam swipe as he moves from one tile to another. It's easier when they're already moving. So basically what I think I do is I shoot dual lasers at shields that should pull the human. I should aim this and try to follow the human with the beam. Maybe even follow him like this. That's, a, that's, that's cool, that's cool. That's not a strategy I think I've used before. This seems like an ideal opportunity to attempt it, though. 
You have to hit them in multiple tiles as they move, I assume. Okay. I understand the concept, so we'll have to we'll play with it. We'll play with it. Some FTL science. Uh, no, we can get it. Uh, okay, apparently I don't know how to move it. There we go. There we go. Uh, wouldn't a straight line on the human and weapons cause him to die in the way to heal bay? Uh, well, the thing is, he's not going to run to heal bay. So, we're going to be taking advantage of a couple different mechanics here. One is, the human in the lowest priority system will move to repair a system. So, priority of systems for AI is piloting engines weapons. So, if I hit a system like shields, this guy will move to repair. When he moves... Beams do damage per tile, or do... Maybe not damage, but like, their effects per tile. So, fire beam per tile can start a fire. Antibio beam does 60 crew damage per tile. So I'm going to be trying to follow the human with the antibio beam as he moves through tiles. We're going to try to take advantage of two different mechanics here. We'll see if this will work. Okay, I don't... I don't think that worked. He would have died if that worked. I think I can just stop the healing here, though. Okay, one down. So I, did, I definitely didn't get a double hit or whatever there. But this next shot should finish him anyway. It should be fine. Level 2 heal bay, by the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw the drone move. Yeah, let's definitely repair drone. God, he might be healing too much. I don't know if I'm getting this. Okay, we got it. Nice. I, I don't know if I... Maybe I had to be patient and hit him less, but I was worried he would start running, so... Yeah, I would probably need a video to see how to do the beam. I don't know how to do it with no pausing, because I understand the idea behind it, but making it hit two different tiles as he moves seems very finicky. Outposts don't run anyway, huh? Okay. Well, good reward. Um, I kind of want to get my second shield, but what if there is a flak and hacking at that store? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to greet a little bit more here. Getting one laser and beam them, but it would take some time, yeah. It's tough to time. I feel like that's one of the things that's probably not impossible, but no pause, but you probably have to practice it a lot and get the timing down. And it's definitely something I've not done before. Bio swiping, I'm still trying to improve. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Oh god, um, okay, need to vent some humans, this is bad. Um, okay, I can kill these guys. Oh, level two doors just saved me there. Holy shit, that was close. Holy shit, that was close. Ugh, fucking free humans. Get the F off my ship. That was almost the end of the shriek right there. Instantly into my doors and my heal bay. Go F you, you piece of crap game. Jesus. You learned the tile base thing and no pose. Okay, well, I haven't trained it, so you're better than me at that. Let's go to the store and stop screwing around here. Uh, yeah, this store kind of sucks. Um, do I ever buy an NG to help deal with repairs and boarding or anything? I'm always selling this. I'm thinking about getting back a battery. I'm always doing this. We have two chances at a second store, right? Here here could be a second store with hacking. Maybe I do nothing else yet. 
Because we already have a weapon upgrade. Like a battery puts us a long way from porting hacking. Yeah, I know. So does buying an NG. Forgot the intro to 13. I have no idea what that means. Has snow throwing hands. I have no idea what you're talking about, Camps None. That's supposed to be intro to Final Fantasy 13. I think you need to write your sentences a little better. Uh, I had no idea what you were talking about there. Um, you know, I feel like my actual lose condition is more free boarding bullshit. So I might actually buy NG to help deal with that. I already have a weapon upgrade. Hmm. I only have two drone parts. It's only Sector 1. I know this puts us away from hacking. I'm going to do that because that helps me in half power nebulas. Which we have two nebulas coming up. Which could be an issue. I'm going to OMD and buy the backup battery. I'm just going to do it. It makes me feel safer. Uh, Final Fantasy 13 has a long prologue. Okay. Born of my passing. Yeah, just gotta hit piloting and we're safe here. From him running. Got four shots. Good. Man, I'm I'm a little stressed after that. Four free human borders directly into doors and heal bay fight, man. Oh, God. Apart from the weakest ships in the game, my biggest fear of streak-ending bullshit is free borders. Because I think the single hardest thing in hard mode no pause is uh, boarding and anti-boarding micro. I think that is actually the hardest mechanic to learn and get good at. My good, my god, was that scary. What's up, uh, Hopley? Great streak you got going. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Tough power. Um. Okay, good dodges. Good dodges. I was going to try to get like a shield up, but it would have been too late. So, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, he's got mind control that's worthless. Okay, that's nice for us. I know, eats full slug crew mind control surveyor in half power nebula. Nice, okay. Alright. Nice mind control, get jabated. Yes, finally something good for us. Something we're immune to rather than enemy being immune to my, I don't know. Yep. Anti-bio beam. They were immune to my anti-bio beam. I was immune to their mind control. Okay, not a safe fight. Only need one shield, though. Is that a two-damage missile? Might be. It's one. Uh, that might be two damage. No, it's one. We're good. Okay, no missiles allowed. He does have an NG to repair, though. That missile comes back online, right? Yeah, it's shut down. Beautiful. Only one missile, not too bad. Double reward? <laughs> okay, Contasol, you did say two flak, free flak ones. It wasn't two, but I'll take one. I will take a free flak one. Okay. Okay, FTL. All the mean things I said, I I, tra I take back. I take back. That's that's really that's really nice. That's, that counts like two, huh? <laughs> Game apologizing for that four free human flight fight. Basically, that's the payment for that four free human uh, fight we had that almost ended our streak right there. End game weapon in sector one is pretty nice. It is pretty nice. Yeah, can't argue. <laughs> We basically have enough for hacking, too. We just sell something. Okay.
He does still get his missile offline or off. Fuck you, man. Okay, all right, good. Delayed. Um, if he wasn't running, I might go for a crew kill, but again, I don't really go for crew kills if there's any chance for damage, which means if they have a single missile, I usually don't go for crew kills. I don't feel comfortable swapping my weapons to a crew killing setup when they might repair their missile and do damage, so... Alright, we have enough for hacking. So let's check what the next sector is before I spend some scrap on a weapon upgrades or power or anything like that. Um, this is the same cost for repairs at a store right now. So I'm gonna ignore that. And there, there is a second store, sector one, but I'm not diving for it. Zoltan or Rock, worst, worst effing sector choices, man. Oh god, I'm weak to boarding and missiles, and what are these two ships? Rock, Live Mine, and Zoltan Border Police. Oh, you walked away and you got a flak. You should walk away more. Yes, just stay away, Farb. Just kidding. <laughs> uh. You don't think Zelda 2 is that bad? It's still Zelda Border Police potential. Sometimes walking to the breach bomb helps with that issue, and generally you prove the caution over crew kill greed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about for going for crew kills, yeah. Um, Rock Live Mine is 50 50 on crew death if we get the unlucky red or blue thing. Zelda Patrol is Zelda Border Police. They're both two stores. Alright, um... If we have a bad fight, I feel like one engine power is not bad here. I can still sell something for hacking. Right, back up my ba uh, backup battery my shield. I'm gonna prevent... Prevent maybe that. The worst Zoltan Border Police boarding is probably directly into my O2. And if they do that, I kind of have to instantly run both my guys there. Okay, safe fight. All we gotta do is uh, anti-bio beam them to death. We're good. Unless they start running. I wonder if I can try the dual swipe here by shooting shields and then trying to follow the rock with the anti-bio beam. Let me try it. Okay. I don't think I did it, but it's hard to tell with rock because they have so much health anyway. I don't think I did it. Okay, so I didn't, because he would have had to take... He would have been dead from that third shot, right? If I had done that right, yeah. I should be dead from the next one, though. Oops, I mistimed that. Rocks may too, be too slow to dual swipe. Uh, well, no, they're probably easier to do, because there's more time when they're in one tile... You just have to know the timing, and I don't know the time. Wow. I just don't know the timing. Fun fact, you flipped a knife out of your dish drawer and caught it blade down, took a chunk of your finger off. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you might need to make... Wow. Three five bomb. Make some different life decisions, Cantonun. Goodness. Where'd the chain laser go? It's, it's here. It's hanging out with Firebob. They're having a good time. Firebob and Jane Laser hanging out in the cargo bay. All right, where's my store? Where is my store? I'm gonna do this. I need an OMD here. <laughs> Meme weapons unite. That's right. How are you doing, by the way, Julian Universe? Hope you're hope you're doing well. That's a dead end, so I'm probably not even gonna look at that because I would have to go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it would be a dive just to get to to look to see if this dead end is a store. One, two, three, four. Dive, dive, and then out of the dive. So we're not going there. Which means actually, I want to check here because if these are either these are a store, I want to go one store, three, and then across. So let's do that. 
This day had you kind of hot due to workplace interactions, so almost chopping a finger was a cherry on top. Yikes. Yikes. I'm sorry to hear you had a rough day, Can't none. Damn it. Okay, at least our dodges were good. Ah. Wow, the perfect timing of heavy laser hitting right as Pulsar was going off meant I couldn't... I couldn't outplay the Pulsar, actually. Don't hit my weapons. Take it. I need to pull his piloting. His piloting has got my on at least, though. Like, if I depowered, I was hit by the heavy laser, so there was no counterplay to Pulsar BS. How do you feel about the Grima strat in case of Zoltan Border Police? Uh, you mean... Preemptive Grimification, uh, or we... Empty a bunch of rooms of O2, huh? Um, how do I feel about that? I would have to think about it. And I definitely don't want to do it going from a Pulsar to another fight. Okay, no stores. We go across here. A trick you can do with the double swipe is starting further back from the tile the crew is starting on, so it gives them as much time as possible to get to the next tile. It's like bottom left corner to top right corner sort of thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Farb, I was thinking when I did the rock one, if I had started it more to the right when he was moving to the left, maybe would have had a better shot at it. But yeah, something I need to practice and get timing down. But thanks for bringing it up. Seems kind of rare because the frequency of you actually having an anti bio beam on a run seems basically this one ship. So something I need to think about getting better at, I guess. So maybe I can practice it here. Um, so this guy will run across. So if I aim anti bio beam from here across like that, maybe I'll have better luck. So we do this. Ah! I did it! Get one swiped. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Let's give it another try. This time I'm going to go across like this from the back corner. Okay. Except he double dodged. Because it's time to do this at least. Okay. Nah. I think I was slightly late. I needed to bio beam to hit him in this tile as he was moving. That's a fast repair. Definitely a repair drone. I'll be fine. Question is if Final Fantasy 13 story, the music is a banger, and it's Street Day. Okay. Here, I'm just gonna... I think I hit him. Yeah, it means I gotta buy more of anti-bio beams. <laughs> Luckily, they're at stores. Some people didn't know that. Some people being my stupid face in the, in, in, in the past. Okay, apparently I didn't hit him with the first round. So I didn't know that. Is there a connection from the bottom half of the nebula to the exit? Seems a bit far. Uh, I don't know, Taters, but the bottom left jump doesn't connect, so I'll, I'll check my jumps again. I'm learning, that's right. In engines, you could do a straight horizontal line, and in pilot, you can do a straight vertical line. Okay. Uh, what are we talking about? Are talking about this? Yeah, this doesn't connect over here, so I probably don't even go down here. I probably just get this jumping up and around. What a crappy Zoltan layout. A crappy sector with a crappy layout. All right, so if I go to one nebula, if I go to three, I actually get nine jumps. Do I even have nine jumps to get? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So basically my path is prescribed here. And I have to have a guaranteed store at one of these two because even if this is a store, I've seen every other jump that's not these three. So one of these three is a guaranteed store, and probably two of them are. Let me count this again. I get nine with three nebulas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. There we go. Counting with Rand. Does Biobeam crew kills kill them without death animations? Uh, yes, it does, actually. I think. I forgot to OMD there. They just instantly get melted. Um, do I want a crew kill? Do I want to go for crew kill here? Um, uh, I'm not going to care 
god, I, I probably could. I'm worried they're gonna start running. So I'm not even gonna go for it. With Rock having extra health, I'm not gonna go for it here. Uh, if they're already moving, you can do straight lines. If not, then you think you found only Mantis are fast enough to get hit twice. You had a run recently, you did Ions and did Beam. Bio Beam was getting kills doing double slides. What's up, Rakigak? Hope the run's going well. It started funky because we had first jump five free hole damage, but then we got a free flak a little bit later, so can't complain. Which has never stopped me from complaining before. Do I want to do I want to do any weapon? I mean, we're only in sector two. I feel like I want to be super greedy and wait for our store options. See what we got options for. So let's be super greedy. July the 4th be with you, and also with you. Alright, they have a heal bay. Okay, and weapons that can do damage, so... I'm going... I'm not going for crew kill. And triple NG with medbot dispersal, so I, I don't think I'm ever crew killing this, to be honest. Huh, <laughs> shut down the defense drone with our dual laser, and that's random. Nice. And we got a free fire bob. True, we did get a free fire bob. You had a good fit B just now, which was good until you found the rock boarding police with four rock boarders in a ship fight with an Artemis and cloaking. Ugh. Ugh. That sucks. You lost two crew and then got live mind on top of that. You got live mind with rock border police Artemis cloaking? Oh, man. F-U-F-T-L. That's what I would have said. What I would have said. I'll say it for you. F-U-F-T-L. On behalf of Rakagak. Background planet looks like part of the Planet Crafter game. Oh, cool. Alright, this is a safe fight for Kukil. And I forgot to LMD. I keep forgetting. Chat, you're distracting me or something. Jogi's talking to me about Planet Crafter. I might need to check that game out at some point. Uh, not up to speed about the July 4th thing. Is it the day Americans celebrate the final Star Wars trilogy? No, that's May the 4th. May 4th is May the 4th be with you. This is a goofy meme. Kind of funny, but goofy. July 4th is just Independence Day, or... Is there another word for it? Um... Independence Day, so it's the day we celebrate. It was the day the um was it the Declaration of Independence was, was signed on the fourth? I think that's what it was. I think that's you know, my my Americanism is not being strong enough right now, but I think it was the day that the Declaration of Independence was signed. Trader Day, that's right. Will Smith beat them the aliens with what's his name? Yeah, that's what it was. It's the day Will Smith killed some aliens. So I'm pretty sure this is a guaranteed store, and this was the store that we didn't get because it would have caused a dive. So there should be a store guaranteed there. FUFTL? Well, I never. I know. You said many FUFTLs and other such things you probably shouldn't repeat. Understood. Understood. Do I get a free NG here? Please? Okay. It's not a free NG, but, you know. <laughs> it's free power. Free Charlie. Yeah, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Jeff Goldblum totally helped. My favorite Jeff Goldblum, Joel, Jeff Goldblum quote is from a Saturday Night Live skit where Jeff Goldblum is going. So people always ask me, uh, do you prefer Jeff Goldblum or Jeff Goldblum? And I always tell them the same thing. How dare you speak to me? My favorite Jeff Goldblum quote. I love it. I find that very funny. I find that very, very funny. You want to be Zoltan. Okay, well, you asked when I went into an asteroid field, so yes, but you have to wait. You have to wait a little bit. From a Brit living in the U.S., happy Independence Day. Thanks. <laughs> the American Revolution was just one day. Totally, totally. Freedom. Uh, uh, uh. Finds a way. That's right. You met the crack addict that actually blew the ship up. Oh, you mean the dad who... Was that the dad who flew a crop dusting plane or something? God, it's been a while since I've watched that movie. 
What's that, man, man? Built and shield and asteroid field. Very useful. Eh, saved him maybe a couple damage. Hacking, hacking, no hacking. Long range scanners? Wow, it's good augments at this store. Alright, uh, first things first. This. Who was it? Ash. Uh, Mineral Protection Act. No problem. Oh, was that the one? I didn't even notice it. Crop Duster Alcoholic Guys. Yeah. Um. So this is our only store. <sighs> what do I want to do here? I think I'm always buying this, so let's go ahead and do that. I might buy the mind control to give myself the anti-boarding protection. Because we want cloaking hacking mind control. That is my max OP -ness. So I'm gonna buy this. You'd pass on everything else. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this because I have weapons to sell to still buy hacking. Um I guess this gives me giant alien spiders blue option if I hold on to it. I don't have to sell anything right now, I guess. Because there could be an early store next sector. And if there isn't, I can do a weapon upgrade into chain laser, maybe? Hmm. Firebob gives me settlers on bar, that's true. So intimidate settlers, giant alien spiders. I sell either of these. Breach Bomb is probably the easiest weapon to transition to right now if we don't get a store. If I just get a one power weapon upgrade. Right, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm not gonna sell anything else in case we get early store. If we don't get early store, I might do a weapon upgrade and put the Breach Bomb on my bar. Half power nebula. How much power will I have? Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So. Okay, so this will be enough right here. Okay, and then we can back up battery stuff. And if it's uh, manly search, I could have bought piloting. Okay. But it would have been a waste. Secure the, I guess, fuel. Missile. I don't need tools for missiles. Oh, come on, man. I forgot to move you. I keep forgetting to move my OMD guy. Slight optimizations I could do. Remembering to move my guy before and then making him move earlier. Uh, Clone Bay. Could I crew kill this? Maybe, but he's got a missile, so I'm just not even going to worry about it. Okay. We didn't get Zoltan Shield or Zoltan Border Police in the Zoltan sector. I approve of this message. Um, Timidate Settler's blue option isn't really that important since you can just take the fight and get a double reward instead of a reward plus your own. Okay. Abandon 3 or NG Homeworlds 3? Now that's an interesting choice because Abandon 3 is actually really good. Scrap gains, no Lanius bombers, and two guaranteed stores. Whereas NG Homeworlds is two to three stores, potentially a very empty sector, and NG Homeworlds quest, which I don't like. I think I actually prefer Abandoned here. You only get a little bit more fuel when you get the crew kill, huh? Okay, so it probably was worth the crew kill. Oh well. And NG Homeworlds with no NG anyways, yuck. I kind of agree with that. Some weird loud sound outside. Okay. Let's go, Abandoned. Yeah, give us options on our next jump, too. Okay, instant store. ASB to help us, huh? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna greed. I'm gonna greed because we have ASB help, and then we can go directly to the store. The one... When you have an uh, when you have long range scanners, the one ASB that you see that is actually good is in a uh, in abandoned sector. So that's why we know this is a helpful ASB. 
shield hack is actually really bad. Um, I need some dodges here. Okay. Okay. All right, that was that could have been bad. Thankfully, his weapons were just slow enough for us to be okay. And I think it was only a level one hack, thank God. No! <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay, Fast Ran. It's okay. No double reward is sad, though. Uh, abandoned Sector soundtrack OP as well, it is. Uh, you can also get friendly ASB in one of the Federation base outcomes. Okay, yeah, but that one you don't know, right? You can't just see it and know. All you see is a quest. You don't know what it's going to be because that's one of those lots of lots of options things. This is the one event in the game where I think you see an ASB and know it's going to be a positive thing. You can see it with scanners? No. Okay. Uh, no hacking, but you do have a halberd beam. Okay. Pretty big investment, but I think it's time to stop banking all these other things I'm not going to use. So... Sorry, Julian Verse. Sorry, anti-bio beam lovers. Sorry, breach bomb lovers. Because I can go do a laser halberd beam with this build and not have to invest anymore. Now, I don't know if this is better right now. If they're two shield ships, this might be better since they don't have a lot of skinny rooms. Nice scrap, yes. Um, we can still save Firebomb for potential crew kills. I, or I could sell it for hacking. I like this kind of middle ground of giving me options. And still getting a nice weapon upgrade. It's kind of a win more, you know. Uh, yeah, decline. I don't want to spend scrap on a freaking what you call it, like a repair bomb or something. I'm gonna take the ship fight, even if it means we might not find our second store. I, don't, I need scrap. Probably should go more store hunting, but okay. So this fight. Yeah, I'm gonna keep flak dual lasers. I might control the pilot. We get through the two shields pretty well, I think. Although that's a heavy, a lot of heavy lasers. And I try to micro as late as possible so that the secondary border doesn't get into the uh, piloting to make him have potentially more dodges. While I'm delaying my control on the shot. So if it's level 1 piloting and you mic control the pilot, they have zero dodges, right? Because it means piloting is not manned. Yeah, I think that's right. Good reward. 3-6 streak. It's still alive. Runs from robots. How are you doing? Fire Bob forever. Fire Bob forever. Okay, we got enough for hacking. That's our main goal. Find hacking. God, okay. Well, my control helps deal with... This is almost the same fight that almost killed us earlier, by the way. Four free humans starting indoors. Make sure he doesn't actually do damage there. We're ahead in health, so we should be good. All right, frickin' humans. Frickin' free humans who didn't bring snacks. Useless. Useless, I say. Should all be vented. My fellow Americans, I promise that if you uh, vote for me, I shall vent all humans. Vote for me. All right, um, I guess I should be in here. Uh, we were better equipped that time? Yeah, my control makes it a lot more um, doable. He will board me. 
with a single human, okay. Okay, fight is now safe. Someone clipped that. Don't worry, I've done that stupid impression many times. It's probably highlighted somewhere. That is my very terrible um, John F. Kennedy impression. That's actually my uh, John F. Kennedy as impersonated by Brian Regan impression. My impression of Brian Regan doing his impression of John F. Kennedy. Uh, Non-snack bringing humans are the worst. Your nickname from a certain political opponent would be Ragey Rand. Okay. Um, what's my best chance of fighting my second store? There are one, two, three, four jumps here that I probably can't get. I can get either of these of their store. I can get either of these. So I actually see three either way. So let's go the direction that gives me a ship fight rather than a distress beacon. So one, two, three, four, five. Should be good. So hopefully one of these three is my second store with hacking. That will be the ideal goal. Okay, Rebel Disruptor with drone control. Okay, combat drone is actually what I was hoping not to see. Nice, nice. Good zero damage fight. Very good. Now I need to make it so that he doesn't run away, so... Good piloting after we get shields down. <laughs> well, that was not intentional, and there's his running. But get blasted, stupid, stupid combat drone. Stupid, sexy combat drone. Don't care about that deal. Just get flacked, drone. Get flacked. Look at flack being awesome. Stupid, sexy flack weapon. Wait, you're not stupid. You're awesome. All right, another ship fight. Hopefully a store over here. If I don't see store here, I'm probably going to invest in a weapon upgrade. To go flak halberd or something. These weapons are pretty good. There's actually... Oh, it's a flak 2. Okay. Not as not as good as I thought. If that was a flak 1, this was actually a very scary weapon system. Nice. Nice. I'm trying to min-max that mind control timing. This could... Potentially we can kill, actually. Oh, frickin' dodges. Okay, okay. The Mantis is very low, so if I shoot the engine here... Oh my gosh, that is tempting. That is very tempting, actually. Oh, man. So it's guaranteed high scrap reward if I turn this down. If I crew kill, I might get a free human. Oh man, I want this, but I think I can crew kill this without taking this. So let's do this. Let's get our firebomb online. I might be able to crew kill with just mind control. Mind control and firebomb. Firebomb probably finishes it off, so. So that must be a breach in there, so he's not going to repair it. If I do this, does that pull him up there? Yes. There we go. That does it. Damn. Should have taken the NG. It's good scrap board, but man, I, I wish I had an NG right now. You want to be the next crew? Sure, Contasul. I will try to remember. Well, we don't get our. St well, one, two, three. Oh, my plan of uh, jumps actually works out even better than I thought because I get to see this one if that's a store. Problem is, if that's a store, I won't be able to get it, or if any of these was my second store, I won't be able to get it. But we have one more chance at. Second store here. Okay. Nice restuff. Damn, no store. All right, so I wouldn't dive for a store. All right, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna wait because there could be an early store next sector that's got cloaking. So I'm being continuing to be greedy. More free frickin' borders. Free frickin' borders, man. Just the worst. Thank you. 
Come on in. The heal bay dying is fine. Okay, very good. Humans with no snacks, they deserve to be vented, really. Could even be an exit beacon store. All right, so I never saw my second store, so it was one of these three jumps that I didn't see. So, unlucky, it's fine. Would I dive for a Klondike bar? No, no, I wouldn't. Although, nice Klondike bar commercial reference from like the 90s. Power for all of that. I don't think it's a very good deal, but I have enough consumables that I think I'd take it anyway. Puts me at 13 fuel, 25 missiles, and 10 drone parts, which I'm kind of okay with. And a power upgrade that doesn't cost me scrap is, eh, not great, but it's fine. I don't think that's too expensive. All right. We definitely go NG over rock, even though it's going to be a forced red, because we need a, we need a store with systems. Sweet micro, thanks, taters. No instant store. Alright, I feel like I have to do a weapon upgrade here. If I do that, I can go black dual laser halberd beam, which just feels a lot better than what I currently have. Against three shield, defense, two drone, NG ships. Okay, there are sometimes free borders, though, so I better still OMD. Power situation's a little low, but if that's a store with hacking, I don't want to go too hard into upgrades because I'd have to sell too much stuff to get it. Good luck on the runs. Thanks. The powers, how are you doing? Happy 4th of July, my friend. Yes, I will sell 15 missiles. Am I doing anything to celebrate? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm a bum. I'm a bum who's... To celebrate, I'll be playing some WoW later. That's what I'll be doing to celebrate. Playing more video games because I'm... A very boring, lonely person. <laughs> I'm just gonna play video games at home all day. That's, that's how I'm celebrating. Uh, I'm celebrating by hanging out with my brother in a week or two when I take a bunch of time off from you know, work and stuff. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, uh, only one damage from the missile, not bad. Give them nothing, they feel no fear. Uh, there were a bunch of fireworks outside my apartment last night, and... They were very, very loud. I tried to walk out and see them, but the trees covered it, and I was like, I can't be bothered to go find the fireworks. It's 100 degrees outside. I can't believe people are just hanging out outside in 100 degree weather to watch explosions in the sky. So, uh, <laughs> that's my thoughts on, on it. It's too hot outside. I'm an old curmudgeon. Um... Uh, You've been trying out Darkest Dungeon lately, it's quite good. Darkest Dungeon is a great game. It is a great game, that's for sure. Definitely a great stream streamable game that I just don't stream anymore because of how ragey I get. I feel like I... How many blue options do I have, Distress Beacon? I have Carefully Cut the Ship Out. I don't have Giant Alien Spiders. I have... Intimidate Settlers, I guess. I've already seen that that's not a store. Let's go down this way. When did the fireworks start today? Uh, I assume if there are more, because there was a crazy, crazy crap ton of them last night in the city I live in, uh, they would be when nighttime happens, which is probably around 8 p.m. All right, free stuff. Uh, look for more free flax. Are there any open characters? No, there's already a line, as usual. Already a line. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna do that in time, so just do that. God damn it. Okay, we got the missile down at least. 
stupid mantis is helping me repair. That's funny. It's actually really funny. <laughs> oh, I'll help. Uh, we don't need your help, sir. Um, please, please stop helping. Okay, missile back down. Okay. There. Trevor Krukel here. Maybe, actually. You know what? Let's give ourselves the opportunity for this potential crew kill. They go low enough? Yes, they do. Firebomb will finish off that NG. Oh, just don't dodge it. Don't repair riders. <sighs> I think I don't get the crew kill now because I don't want to leave the missile up. And he won't run in there. Unless I get it before it burns down. Got him! Ha <laughs> ha! And we get the NG! Yes! We got our free NG that we missed earlier. Beautiful. Way to go, Firebob. And there's the burn down I was worried about. Okay, so, um, next crew is... Who was it? Uh, Contasul was the first one, right? I, where's Burger to help me keep track of all this? Anybody that can help me keep track of renames, I'd appreciate it. Because now it looks like Contasul into maybe Turbo into maybe somebody else. I'm not sure. All right. You uh, have weapon training. Interesting. Oh, I have, because I have shield training. I have engine training on you, so I can do shield. Yes. This works great, because I like having my Zoltan in shields over anything else. This will work. This will work. Oh, this is awkward. Jumps are spread out, so even if I got the store here, one, two, three, four, five, I'd be diving. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go this forced path because I haven't seen a store. There's probably one down here anyway, but I don't have, I don't really have options any other path anyway. So this gives me ship fight, and hopefully one of these three is a store. I'm gonna greed a little bit more, even though I could use power. I'm gonna greed and not spend any more scrap on power or anything. All these pre-crew dibs makes it kind of hard to wait for a rock to pop up. I mean... <sighs> pay the cookies if you want, Cantonon. I just don't promise that I will remember without Burger here to keep track of everything, so... Wow, this guy's got really freaking good weapons. Couldn't time it perfectly because I had to fire. Wow, that guy's got three S tier weapons. Holy crap. Um, is there a crew kill here? Maybe, actually. If I'm patient, use mind control and firebomb, there might be a crew kill here. One damage there on purpose, and he even resisted. That's good. That pulls pilot. That did not pull the pilot. How, how the hell did he dodge that? I firebomb as he walks into the room, and he nopes because apparently a fire that was in another room spread into there as I fi Wow. I missed the crew kill because of fire bullshit. Wow. The fire not from my firebomb. That was actually really ridiculous there. Uh, where's Burger or Pie Boy? What do we even pay them for? Oh yeah, we don't pay them. That's why. Probably why. They're not hanging around. All right, now I am going to buy a power. Anti-bio for the win. Yeah, no, I'm not. That's not, uh, that is not a, an argument for anti-bio beam actually being better than any of these weapons. <laughs> Although you probably could argue that, but no thanks. Stupid random fire generator, I know. Accept their offer of free stuff. All right, please give me a store. Please give me a store. Nice, nice. 
door behind my head is hopefully hacking. Really good weapons, but cloaking. Okay. There's second store. There is not. Okay. So I could sell something to buy a burst laser too. <sighs> Which would put me a little behind in getting hacking, so I feel like it's not the play. We get hacking and our one is run. We're almost there anyway. So I think I think the burst laser two here is a jabate. I think it's a jabate. Fire beam, meh. Also good jabate. But I got fire bob, so. Let's just call this good. I maybe should have bought some fuel there. Yeah, I think the burst laser is bait. Okay, we got vi- Ah, oh, okay. The only blue option of it I have is the NG. Which is ship fight. If I just attack the NG vessel, what's what's our what's our reward differences? FTL virus event. To fight an NG ship, this is lose a crew member. Random scrap and random. So it's random. So it's random either way. So my my question is if I want to max out all of my training on my NG. Um The worry about this fight is that it's really difficult and I end up having to run away and losing my NG. But with my weapons, I think I'm okay. Yeah, our volley is good enough and I do have cloaking. So I think I'm going to do this. Contasul, you'll become a Contavirus, I guess. Okay, his weapons are terrible, actually. Weapons are actually incredibly bad. Yes, good swipe. Didn't cloak it, but this guy's weapon is just bad. He had really good defenses. Well, he only had, he actually didn't have three shields, only two. So it's actually one of the weaker, weaker NG bombers I've seen in a while. All right, 23 scrap and we get our virus back. So, uh, well, I, Contavirus, I guess. And I don't know how to combine your name, but there you go. You wish that virus was a special race, Sam for Envoy, a la Multiverse. I don't care. <laughs> Questions like that. I'm sure. I'm sure they are very important to to you, but to me, I, I honestly couldn't care less about it being a special race. So no, don't care. Um, would I rather have you on weapons or engines? I think I prefer. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine, actually. Do I wish that vanilla was more like FT, uh, multiverse? Not really, no, because I find I have a lot of issues with multiverse, so no, I don't actually care about that. Okay, it's nice free stuff to sell. It's forced abandoned, okay. All right, Lanius Bomber, Sector 5. Let's go, at least I have the mind control. If I can get hacking, I'll feel better. Can I have an early store with hacking to help deal with Lanius Bomber potential? Do I want to do any upgrades? What do we think about the O2 upgrade here to help deal with Lanius Bombers? A virus soul in my language effectively means the virus. You prefer to counter mind control or use mind control to stop their borders? You feel that's an important thing to consider. Um, and my anti-boarding is not very good. So I feel like if he has two borders, I have to anti, I have to counter the mind control and then send my slugs to fight him is what I think. Can I still afford hacking if I do this? I have anti-drone and firebomb to potentially sell. Yes. I'm going to do that. So now i got to consider if if I am boarded, I, know I might need to move my crew around. I need I need my slugs free. I need to counter the mind control. Counter the mind control on one of my dudes. Well, if you mind control one of these two guys... 
and then I turn on level 202 and then fight the guys with these two, that might be the way to do it. Depends on where they board. If they board in a room with them and I, the countering the mind control doesn't actually counter it, but mind control is their other guy that could screw me over. Do I wish I could use the tank on a no-pause run? That would be so overpowered that it feels like a pointless question. But sure, sure. When slugs are our best boarding defense, you worry about our anti-boarding, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, your friends. So we don't have to deal with you. Virus is actually paying off here, giving me uh, flexibility on not losing training and moving our crew around. Uh, no, I'm gonna take a missile for this, but I'm gonna say no. Nice. Does he leave and we don't take a missile? Beautiful. Zero damage fight. You gotta love it. You got to love it. Very good, very good. We can vent our mind control around our ship before damage. Yeah, that completely depends. That completely depends on where they board and where our mind control crew ends up being. So, I mean, I guess you could argue maybe having my NG here is better, because if he gets mind control, I could vent him around, but then I can't man doors. I, I don't know. I think I like having my NG here, because I can counter the mind control if I get boarded by Lanius borders. And I can have these guys fight the, uh, the Lanius and still have some... Um dodge percentage going on here. Power. Okay. What race is Rand actually? Maybe Mantis because he likes boarding. Yes. I think I have said many times, if I were an FTL race, I would choose Mantis because having swords for arms is awesome. Triple missile Zoltan shield ship. So effing balanced. Okay, let's go. Question is if I cloak this missile or not. I'm not. Okay. God damn it, I was hoping that would fire at the same time as this one. Okay. Fuck okay, not my weapons. Okay. One missile down. Do I take this just to get the F out of this giant missile fight? I don't like this reward, but I'm taking another three damage from missiles if I don't take this reward, probably. Mantis can't repair worth beans. They make great chefs, though. True, true. Um... So I guess the question is, is a three damage missile hit worth whatever the amount of scrap we get that's more than 17? Repairs right now are about three. So if I get at least nine scrap more, it's probably worth not taking the offer. Do I think I get at least 26 scrap from this fight? It's sector five abandoned. I think I get more than 26 scrap. Hmm. I, th I think I'll get at least 26. So, here comes the missile. Okay, at least I didn't hit my piloting. No! Fuck you, FDL! Fuck you! Alright, well, let's, let's hope that we get more than 26 scrap. 30. We got four extra. Uh, and I have a fire somewhere, and I don't know where it is. Probably somewhere over here. It's just guaranteed over there, because he's in a non... this. Non, uh, whatever room. Non-system room. Alright, well, I think I made, like, one extra repair plus one scrap gain from that, so... Profit, I guess? <laughs> Jeez. Not actually that much better. We're just going to dodge the missile anyway. Yeah. Trying to look cool and call on your shots. Not working. It's not working. Hole is a resource. Yada, yada, yada. All that stuff. All right, store. All right, please have hacking so I can feel better 
please, please. Damn it. What's the defense draw? A draw control is that. ASB helps us. Do I buy the sensors to clear it out for hacking? Because I've seen sensors twice now. I think I do. I think I buy this and repair. We have one more guaranteed store of this sector. Two more extra repair because Lanius bombers can be terrifying. Okay, let me go ahead and do this again and save these positions for now. I don't know if it's guaranteed, but it feels like when I have the Planetside ASB, it almost always feels like it's Lanius Bomber. Am I okay with this being a Lanius Bomber and taking this fight? Again, ASB is helping us, but they could have cloaking and mind control boarding, which is what I'm afraid of. So I need to prepare for that. Which means have level 202 just on. Open all the doors? No, let's not open all the doors, because depending on where they run, I might want them to be delayed. It could be a bomber or scout. It's 50-50. Okay. I'm going to take it, because either way, we have the ASB helping us. And I have cloaking. I have the mind control counter. All right, it's the bomber with cloaking mind control teleporter with, I think that's a burst laser 2 and a halberd beam. We can cloak that. It's actually probably a good boarding location for us. Oh, it's uh, it's not a burst laser too. Okay, crap, crap, crap. Holy shit! Holy shit! <sighs> Fuck you, FTL. Fuck you, man. Come on. Okay, we got repair. We lost our crew, though. Fucking Lanius bombers. Fucking Alanius Bombers. Fucking no pause micro. Oh, God damn it. Okay, alright. Well, we only lost our Zoltan. We did get repair. Alright, I need to buy crew at the next door we go to. God damn Alanius Bombers, man. And that's why they're the fucking worst ships in the game, apart from full star bullshit and free shield hack bullshit. If I had more power, maybe I could have dealt with that better, but like, just the fucking micro on no pause dealing with borders and mind control and cloaking and double lanius bombers. So much bullshit from those kind of fights, man. Is there any crew at this store? I can't remember. I gotta buy power to replace the damn Zoltan we lost. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, alright. Don't hack my weapons or piloting. Jesus, look at his fucking weapons. Okay, that's a fine hack. Double burst laser 2. Jesus Christ. I should be happy this is not the weapon system on the last guy we fought. Uh, terrible deal. I'm gonna rename again. Uh... Please don't ask for requests right now. I'm trying to not effing die. And there's already a line, so, um, no. No, I can't rename right now. It's really tempting to leave him mind control, but they boarded right into him, so good call. Yeah. My, my worry was, I mind control right before he boarded, because if... That would have screwed me even more if I mind controlled, and I mind controlled Alanius, and, his, and he was mind controlled Alanius with my... Dude, mind control. I just, it was, would have been even worse. So, just a bullshit fight. Lanius bombers are bullshit and cheaters, so, you know. Hell, 
All right, we're gonna sh we shake it off. Call it, uh, call it a mistake, but I would just call that a BS event that I did my best on and couldn't perfectly micro. I'm telling you, man. Hard mode no pause. Literally the hardest thing about it, once you've learned how to make good decisions, is dealing with borders. The micro of anti-boarding is literally the hardest thing in the game. I think. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's literally the hardest thing in the game. And you don't have to be perfect to win, that's right. Um, I can afford the hacking now, let's just go there. Yeah, well, and the, par the problem with the boarding micro is that it's not just boarding micro, it's weapon aiming, timing cloaking, uh, timing your weapons, moving power around, it's just, it's everything on top of everything, and I still don't ever feel amazing about it. Alright, there's hacking. Alright, I feel a lot better now that I have hacking. If I had had hacking during that fight, I could have, like, hacked his weapons, bought myself time to deal with the borders, like, I would have been in much more controllable position. Can I sell firebomb for crew right now? 46. I can get a human if I sell a fireball. Hindsight? Yeah. Yeah, I tried not to think about that. Yeah, I'm selling a human for... I'm selling a firebomb for a human. Sorry, I know. Not even real Rand, whatever. Uh, I'm desperate for crew right now, so... Put him on piloting. And... Actually, I can get my slug back on piloting. That's what I can do. Actually, I'm going to save that position OMD with you. Any plans of changing to Clone Bay? Uh, yeah, as soon as I'm overflowing in cash. So if you can tell FTL to help me with overflowing in cash, I'll get right on that. That's a very win more play. The only way to be perfect at FTL is to never play. There you go. So Shogi is perfect at this game. Um... At least I have plenty of drone parts, double beams, so I'm just gonna hack the weapons. All it's safe. Yeah, well, that was an interesting number of dodges. Okay, we're good. Uh, we already have a line to trail, so I'm sorry, you aren't gonna be able to be that human. I does any does anybody save the names? Can anybody help me out with name requests? If not, it's it's gonna take me a minute or two to figure out who's in what order. Let's move you. All right. Uh, Turbo Jet is up. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Para. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, so hack two and power is what we want next. So hack two. Selling Firebomb for human? Like and subscribe. <laughs> it's an interesting game where the only winning move is not to play. Yeah, that sounds like a quote from a movie or something. But you're in the line now as a trail, so if anybody can help uh, keep track of it, you can get... Oh my god, it's level 4 shields effectively. Do that before the thing comes up. Okay, good hit, good hit. This missile's up. It's fine. At least he's not running. Nice, get wrecked. Alright, I feel much better with hack and cloaking, even though I lost the Zoltan, which <laughs> makes me salty and rage a bit. We'll just say we traded our Zoltan for hacking. Which is usually a trade I would make, and it's usually a trade I would make. So if I get some power, we basically are boss ready if we just get some upgrades and some crew. I can't crew kill very well with phase one with this build, and I sold the thing that would have helped me crew kill better in the firebomb, but I think I think getting the extra crew is important. I think getting the extra crew was very important. Be purged, okay. 
Uh, Ash is next for names. Okay, thank you. Can I please have a free crew? Okay. All right. We traded a Zoltan for a Silly device. And sorry, I know there's a there's a line, but if there's an NG that goes on doors, that's an instant Silly device. Because we need to be blessed by silly deviceness with thy silly device blessedness blessedness. So, uh, wow. Have all of my greens been Zeltan except for this one civilian we got? I think they might have been. If I go Mantis Homeworlds, I have forced green. All right, I think I deal with zone border police okay. And I'd like to have choice of green after. We have cloaking hacking. Ugh, Zoltan's border police are still scary AF, so... And the venting on this ship is actually pretty trashed here. I think that might be the worst part about this ship. Its weapons aren't great, but at least it's stuff to sell. I think the worst part about this ship is that there are only vents behind the doors and over here, so you can't vent any part of this ship to deal with borders. I think that might be the worst part about this ship, is the terrible venting. This could be Ma Natural Mineral Protection Act. I'm going there anyway. It is. Okay. At least it's not an uh, offensive drone, so that's good. We dodge. What do I cloak? I cloak chain laser because that's 16 and this is 17. Or maybe I don't even have to. Good. Good. Okay. Good fight, good fight. Second scariest event in the sector. Maybe sometimes the scariest, depending on what weapons uh, border police have. And should be a zero damage fight. Looks good. Looks good. Decent scrap. But Ran, the intended solution was to breach bomb your own ship before every jump. Solution of, oh, of venting my own ship. Okay, okay. I wish I could get level 2 piloting now, because I would take that for the chance of this being, um... Whatever that event is called. Uh, manly search. Uh, okay. Crew kill this, we get more, but... Okay. Okay. And I have a lot of power tied up in stuff. Okay, no weapons allowed. Beautiful. All right, we have power issues, and then we went into a half power nebula. Maybe not the best, but hey, it worked out. Hoping hacking for to win. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Not a great scrap reward, but we did get three fuel. Not bad. I think human is level 2 pilot for manual if it comes up again. Manually search has nothing to do with the level of your pilot, Dilbert. All that matters is level 2 pilot system. Or having clone bay. Those are the only thing that matters for that situation. Okay, no thanks, Pulsar. No thanks. Won't dodge in power right now, hopefully. Or ha wanting to have a human killed. Yeah, if only I could choose. If only I could choose. This is a safe fight. <laughs> okay, do I ever crew kill four NGs with NG med bot dispersal? We've had some pretty weak NG bombers, honestly. Do I need to train anybody here? One thing I need to train is shields or a human on dodge or something if I wanted to. Do I care about doing any of that? No, I think I like my positioning of all my crew, so. Good. This run looks awful. Screw you, FTL. Uh, are you trying to anti-jinx it? If so, I appreciate it. But we have hacking and cloaking, so I can't honestly say that I agree with your assessment of this run. 
I could cross train engines. I don't I don't feel like I need any cross training here. Not with fully trained virus and both my slugs being trained on everything useful. Yeah, look how low our health is. <laughs> You're just anti-jinxing. Okay, appreciate it. Appreciate the anti-jinx. Um, I'm going to go here because if there is another half power, no ship fight jump, I'm going to check it for manly search and get level 2 piloting just to check. And if not, I go here. And then we get an extra jump out of that anyway. Yes, it's terrible. We're going to lose unless I get really lucky. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I'm not going to get level 2 piloting since I don't see a potential manly search. It's the, uh, the anti-jinx. Chat knows I yell when people say, looks really good. <laughs> They're like, okay, talk about how bad the run is. Talk about how bad it is real quick. The trick FTL. We're going to trick them, everybody. We're going to trick them. I'm being greedy with drone parts here, as usual. Although I don't know why I'm being greedy with drone parts, because I don't need to be. <laughs> No reason to be greedy. Don't be greedy and get triple hit by heavy lasers and get wrecked. Uh, so back online. Okay, my, my swipes are not quite being optimal either. It's okay, it's okay. Just trying to time it well. Okay, we got fuel. That's good. It's gonna be a real butt clencher. You've been up all night to get lucky. <laughs> All right, thanks, Daft Punk, for supporting this run. Up, all, up, all, up all night to get, 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 get lucky. Uh, okay, I could get level two cloaking. I'm looking. I'm kind of trying to hold out for another store for like another one power weapon or a weapon I can use as swapping out weapon for crew killing phase one. So I'm gonna greet a little bit. Up all night till the sun. I believe in your ability to come back from this rant. Just hang in there. Thanks. <laughs> Finally, we have the NG Boo option here. Thanks. I appreciate the support in this, in this, the day of my daughter's wedding. I mean, this, my hour of need. Okay, let's get our cloak hack cycle here. 55 scraps. Good reward. It's a good reward. Rip this streak. Okay. All right. Free borders plus bonus borders. Not ideal. Okay. This is scary, actually. That is four Mantis Borders. Okay, that was a lot of effing dodges. Okay. Let me fucking hit him! Come on, man! Okay, I didn't cloak two, though. So that was a slight misplay, but, you know, freaking. Mantis Borders with bonus Mantis Borders is not ideal. Okay, alright, okay. Alright, I think we're past the difficult part. Mantis Border Police get wrecked. Jesus. Who ordered Mantis Borders with a side of Mantis Borders? Please. Please stop doing... Stop ordering that, please. Okay, alright, no crew lost. Thank God they boarded in a the only room... One of only two rooms that are actually good for my venting. That could have been really sketchy. I know, Mantis freaking border police right there. Is that level 3 teleporter? Uh, I don't know, but they insta-boarded with free borders and then Mantis boarded again. So I, it didn't have to be a uh, level 3 teleporter for them to board that quickly. It was a blue event where they had bonus borders because FU, FTL is me. Okay, what do we got here? Crew, another burst laser two. I could rebuy my firebomb for crew killing phase one. Uh, I think I just get burst laser two here, even though it's expensive. That's really expensive. 190 plus 80 to get online. I do have a whole other sector though. Honestly, I kind of wish Fire Beam was here, because Fire Beam feels better as a crew-killing weapon. Um, How do I want to win more, I guess? Honestly, maybe I want a rock crew? 
Uh, no, buying both is not the right play. That means we don't get some upgrade we need. I'm gonna buy that. I'll buy I can do a one power into weapons and have black burst and then maybe go into shields and then work towards the dual lasers. So this is all in the home world. So we are guaranteed a second store somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I go there, I'll see that. See if there's another store. Do I care about another store? I mean, I could buy Clone Bay, but that's a side grade when I need upgrades. So yeah, I'm not gonna do a Clone Bay upgrade. Clone Bay side grade. Okay, I don't want something to sell at the other store we find, okay. So that means guaranteed this is our final store. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, Turbo Jet. I appreciate you spending your cookies on renames. Hopefully, we'll get the renames right. Okay, it's reborders. Kill your friends. Um, let's make the fight safe. NG on NG violence is a real problem nowadays. That's the fire in their pilot. That uh, the weapons. That might be a crew kill if that fire keeps spreading. Nice. Fighting the fire. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. That's a crew kill. Haha. <laughs> Very nice. There's no way he gets out. Wow. Okay, that fire even spread well for us. Very nice. So if I'm patient, I don't think he'll burn down before the crew kill happens. Very nice. <laughs> this poor human. This poor human. Let's move our NG to sensors to see how how dire his situation is. How much health do you have? 37, okay. And that should be the crew kill. I don't think he gets through in time. Yeah, nice. 51 scrap and a defense run drone. That's a triple reward, baby. Nice. I can definitely get our burst laser two online now if I want to, but I know I have a store here. So one, two, three, four. So we save for the store. Got some daily motivation for you. What is this? Hang in there, baby. That's what chat's saying. <laughs> That's a nice Simpsons reference, huh? So it's Marge looking at cat pictures on the wall to get her through a day at work or something, I assume is what that is. That's funny. Thanks, I needed that. Been a rough, rough FTL day so far. I mean, we've had some difficult. This hasn't been like all puppy dogs and unicorns and rainbows run. Our first jump was a free five hole damage, so. But thanks. Always got, always need that inspirational poster inspiration. All right, decent reward. The Federation is fighting for its independence today. Is, uh, was Independence Day a Michael Bay movie? Wait, that wasn't a store? Okay, then I must have missed a store up here. I thought this was guaranteed store. I must have not noticed that this was a jump that I didn't check. Oh, well. Today is our Independence Day! Or whatever the big inspirational speech is from the guy playing the president in Independence Day. Roland Emmerich. Who's Roland Emmerich? Was that the guy who played that president in that movie? I don't I don't actually know names very well. Bill Pullman, you're right, that is Bill Pullman. So who's Roland Emmerich? Oh the director. 
So it wasn't Michael Bay. Okay, the question I asked was directly. Yeah. It seems like a Michael Bay movie with like everything exploding all the time and it being very much a very simple. The bad guys are evil. Why? Because they're evil. That's usually the extent of, you know, Michael Bay movies. Why are they evil? Because they're evil. Uh, Roland Emmerich does disaster movies. Okay. Uh, Emmerich did Stargate as well. Did he really? Okay. Okay, this is really effing annoying. Okay, is his missile offline? At least his missile's offline. Double offensive boarding drones is terrifying. Neo over here. Frickin' Neo. Another one of those cheating ass ships right here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven drone power if he doesn't have a repair drone, I think. Those are each three apiece, right? Yeah. Seven drone power plus a missile. Wow. All right, we actually didn't take damage somehow, thankfully. Yeah, that was seven drone power, I think. What's the movie where they go to the center of the earth to nuke it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That's the core, okay. Yeah, I guess I didn't watch a lot of those movies. Although I did watch Independence Day and I did like Stargate. I don't think I saw a bunch of those other ones. You know, in the island, Scarlett Johansson wanted to include a topless scene in the movie, but Michael Bay said no. No, I did not know that. Is that a true story? That sounds like fake news. That sounds like a teenager's wet dream that they told their friends. Did you know that Scarlett Johansson wanted to be topless, but the director said no? I know, I wish, I wish, man, that, he must be gay or something. That totally sounds like a, a teenager's thing. Because hmm. hasn't jo Scarlett Johansson, like, never been topless in a movie or something? That feels like a choice. That sounds like an actor's to choice right there. Surely some director somewhere would have wanted to take advantage job, of... You know, Scarlett Johansson, I'm sure, looks really good. She has been topless. Oh, has she? Okay, I guess I haven't, didn't know that. Get wrecked. Uh, damn, no double reward. The Island is the clone movie. Oh, I saw that, but was that the one with, was Ewan McGregor in that movie? I think I saw that movie. Oh, civilian, nice. That was not that memorable, <laughs> if I remember watching that movie. Uh, yeah, it's the one where they're clones and they're trying to escape to not be... What was the, what was the idea? I think is they're clones for rich people in case they die so they have a body replacement or something like that. All right, outpost, nice. Sector seven outpost, okay. Um, let's vent these guys. Uh, did I hack? I didn't. Let's we'll see if I need to. Looks like no. Nope. Looks like we're good. <laughs> Well, I guess if she had done that, then uh, that movie would have been more memorable, if, <laughs> if that's a true story. Still sounds kind of fake, but... I don't know. Probably would have been better for the box not office numbers. Yeah, their insur insurance policies for rich people were the, the, the clones, yeah. You finally saw The Beekeeper with Jason Statham. It's on Amazon Prime. Not familiar with that movie. It's for organ donors, organ harvesting, and baby surrogates, okay. It's like a lottery or something. People get voted up to the surface, but their number's just getting called for parts. Yeah, yeah. The big twist 
is that they're just body parts for rich people. The uh, M. Night Shyamalan twist at the end. That Wasn't that during the time when like everybody was trying to do big twist movies because M. Night Shyamalan was so popular? That feels like it was in the same era. Oops. Probably crew kill this if I'm patient enough to go for it. Am I patient enough to go for it? Got the missile down. Do, 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 do. I don't think I'm patient enough for it. Okay, I'm not talking about weapons optimally here, but it's fine. It still works. I think that was based on a book. Probably was. Most movies with actual original ideas are based on on books, even if it wasn't uh, pulled off very well. Well, that's a great exit beacon location, but because there's no other beacon here, I don't think we're going to get mid-max of our jumps. So if I go through three nebulas, I can get here in 10. So I think that's what we we look at here. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay, so let's get this and then these stores, and then figure it out after that. It's full greed mode. Is that the disco ship? You mean lasers everywhere? Oh, uh, the ship we just fought? Uh, maybe. Wow. Double Ion Blast Mark II. Interesting. Okay, let's poke that. This ship would be terrifying if he had a double offensive drone instead of a chain laser here. This ship would be terrifying. Okay, well, great reward, so... Thanks for having a crappy weapon system for that amazing reward. I mean, super greed mode, because I could totally upgrade weapons or shields or something right now, but... If, if, the, if one of these stores has a fire beam, I'm buying it. 100%. Because crew killing phase one is really good. I don't need fuel. This is sector seven, right? Yes. I could I could buy weapons eight and be fine here, but we have double stores. So reloader, second halberd beam. Um, nice, but not good for crew killing. So, we'll get Reloader and I want an extra crew to help deal with borders. Kind of do, actually. So let's get, let's get an NG. You know, it's not best for borders, but it's just best for general crew stuff. So, put by Clone Bay. Don't really want to. I'm going to go one, two, three... Four, five, six, and that will be safe in seven going through three nebulas. Okay, so one more jump, one more ship fight, and then the store. This run is insane. We've had some tough parts, but yeah, in, the, in, 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 in our current situation, I can't be mad at our current build. With how much, especially with how much scrap we're banking here. Oh, come on, game! Come on! We are at full health right now, too, which is kind of insane. Nice, no missiles allowed. Win more reloader, that's right. This sector's been really good in scrap. You know the run is fine when Rand can't be mad. <laughs> that's right. I'm never happy. I'm just not mad. That's the life of an FTL streamer. You're never happy. You're just not mad. Ran, be happy. I, I I wish I could, but I I play FTL for a living, so I can't be happy. Nice double reward. Wow, we have gotten a lot of double rewards. I think. I mean, no, wait. This run is terrible. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible, terrible. Uh, nothing good has ever happened here. Nothing good. Oh yeah. Um. So Ash, I'm gonna count the first one as turbo jets already. Whatever. So Ash, was Ash the next one? 
Excuse me, I gotta scroll down. I'll take your word for it, Ash. Um, okay, nothing here I want. I was hoping for a weapon for crew killing. Do I clone- do I buy clone bay for safety? I have the scrap, let's do it. I know, rip fire beam. Totally would've bought one too. Alright. Okay. Turbojet bought two but didn't give names. Yes, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, okay, cloaking, two shields. Wow, a pirate slug like cruiser in Sector 7 with only two shields. That's actually kind of insane. Normally I'm expecting five shields on this ship. Not sure why I poked that and then hacked that. It's not ideal here, it's fine. I have enough weapons that even a mistiming on my cloak hack cycle shouldn't be an issue. Okay, he's running. Thank God his cloaking is down, though. No running allowed. You must give me all of your scrap. Sixty scrap. That is a lot. Uh, and a store! <laughs> Still no fire beam, though. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, I mean, I can get really fast weapons, though. Sure, I'll get another an uh, automated reloader, anti whatever, an uh, auto. Blah, 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 blah. So I have to go one, two, three, to not. Actually, no, I, I do get four if I go through three nebulas. So if I go one, two, three, four, that works. Okay, perfect. Although, do I want this? No, this is fine. Two extra ship fights and a nebula is great. Power for days. Even if we dive, it's not that big a deal. DNA bank? Yeah, I'm not boarding, so... Not a huge amount of need for that. This guy's boarding, though. It deleted NG. It's a lot of fires. Maybe we can actually crew kill. Probably not with a heal band. Me already doing as much damage as we've done. Maybe if my control uh, comes up quickly enough, we can crew kill this. We'll see. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, there it is. Unless the ship burns down, which it might actually. O2 probably burns down, but as long as nothing else burns down, apart from O2, this is the crew kill, 100%. Look at that. Burst laser, dual laser, fire starting crew kill. Uh, oh, wow, the fire actually goes out. Okay, yeah. Go in and die in that room. Perfect. Hey, a free crew, and it's a shield trained human, actually. Okay. That'll free up our human to be on sensors, I guess, and this NG can hang out ready for repairs. Okay, who's up? Um, Turbojet, and then somebody, let me scroll up and see. Uh, 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 I can't keep track of the names. Uh, I'm gonna do Zetria, Zet Zetrail. I'll do that one. I'm gonna kind of ignore paying for other people right now. If there's no names requested there, so. Thank you, Para. Appreciate it. All right, and now we need a Grima apparently, eventually. Okay, dodge and powers next, and then maybe fourth shield if we get enough for it. Thoughts on the Elden Ring so far? It's good. Um, my main difficulty in, you know, it. They're, they're made to be difficult, so, you know, getting mad at the game being difficult is kind of weird. But the challenge, the main challenge I've run, in, run into is Come on, man. the DLC enemies are ridiculously aggressive. And 
don't seem to give you attack windows as as often as I feel like the vanilla game did. So the main difficulty and challenge is I feel like the overly aggressive enemies that never stop attacking and don't have any attack or heal windows makes for some very crazy difficult fights. Uh, I'm only on like, I've only beat like two main bosses and probably four or five sub mini bosses, so. You've noticed that a bit as well, yeah. <laughs> An anti-bio beam. Wow. Do we come full circle and buy the anti-bio beam to crew kill phase one? That would be really funny, and I kind of want to do it, actually. From what you've seen in the DLC, the enemies have the copy keyboard inputs AI, so it's just cheese difficulty, huh? What is actually better for crew killing phase one? Firebomb or anti-bio beam? Um, they're about the same charge time. I think anti-bio beam might be better because... Once they're low on health from potentially fires in the shield or missile room, we just anti-bio beam down rather than firebomb getting dodged. You think small bomb better for crew kill? Oh, that's interesting. Does system damage as well as can start fires? That might actually be better. Why not both? Cause expensive. You know what? I think I like I think I like your small bomb argument actually. Why not all three? <laughs> okay. okay. Good memes. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the small bomb because we can swap out halberd beam for small bomb phase one. Uh, make the fight pretty safe and get some good crew kills with that. I like that. I like that a lot. And I've more and more in Harmonopause been enjoying getting crew kills phase one of the boss fight to make the fights more uh, doable. Oh, I timed that horribly. That was a terrible timed shot right there. Uh, he's about to go into my shields. It'll only get two shields down, thankfully. Okay, we'll get two shot him anyway. Nice. Seal supplies? Nice! Beautiful. Um... I should get all three of those weapons and a stun bomb. What a loadout. I mean, it would be a crew, good crew killing loadout. What would that have been? Fire bomb, uh, stun bomb, anti bio beam, and small bomb. What a build. What a build. Basically, the only thing that does is crew kill. But it does it well. Doing it, doing it, doing it well. But yeah, I'm liking, I'm enjoying the Elden Ring DLC. Uh, as I get to later bosses, I have a feeling I might get even madder and saltier and say the game is cheaty and unfair. Because I always do that. But also, from what I've been hearing, they nerfed a bunch of stuff because of community complaints. So, it must actually be pretty hard later in the game. Later in the DLC, from what I've been hearing. Uh, you're fairly certain that's very close to what Far Brand wants for Phase 1. Stun bomb, lock bomb, fire bomb. <laughs> crazy, crazy far. Wow, that was a lot of dodges. That was like a ridiculous amount of dodges. I shot eight shots at him and took out two shields? No. Yeah, two shields? No. Three shields. Okay, there we go. That's better. Celebrate July 4th by turning the flagship into a, an ever-living Roman candle. Nice, nice. This is not not enough time. That's why I'm not trying to go for any crew kills. If I get a not enough time, I wonder if I should have my small bomb on the bar. I might actually want to do that. I think I'm going to swap this in case we get not enough time, so I'll have an option for a crew kill that doesn't do whole damage. Uh, good luck on the rest of the run. Wish you luck on Stealth Sea. Oh, good luck, Empowers. Good luck on Stealth Sea. I wish you many free flex. 
All right, this is actually quite a good sector for us to get some even more bonus scrap. So I'm not going to go instantly to repair station because I don't need one. I'll try to just get some extra scrap here. The bombardier build is like the flakening, but with four bombs and explosive replicator. And no hull damage, I guess. Close. Okay. okay. I'm gonna keep my. I need to swap these. These are in the wrong place for my preferred uh, timing. Weapon timing. This is not not enough time. But I probably could crew kill this. Uh, but I don't care since it's not enough time. I can just finish the fight now. We might get Fourth Shield if we get enough scrap here, which I don't often get Fourth Shield when I have this much invested in weapons and stuff. So it'd be pretty crazy if I got Fourth Shield and power with how this is going. Okay, that being taken over means uh, I might have a Force to Dive for the boss, which is not my favorite. Definitely do Shield Value and power. Okay. You have to walk off for a bit. Please kick flagship's ass. Do my best, man, man. Doing my best. Three friends. Beautiful. Be back soon. Nice. Uh, Pew that fuel. I do have a lot of fuel this run, that's for sure. You're unlikely to get vented. I mean, we could still get a free non-human. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, no. Yeah, you're not likely to get vented. <laughs> we have, we don't even have full crew. Oh, God damn it! I didn't want to have to go to. I thought that was safe. All right. Well, I can get four shield and power, so let's do it. All right, uh, I hate going into a dive. I hate going to the boss fight after a dive because my crap has to get reset, I think. So um, so this is my setup for crew killing. How are we doing the crew kill? We hack shields when we have no teleporter. Hack shields, we blast the missiles, and then we small bomb the crew down is the plan. I will get there the same time as him if I go there and then immediately. Do, 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 do. do I need to hack his weapons at all? Uh, maybe I'll hack, but not use it unless I really need to. I did, did not mean to do that. Good. Right, hacking early is probably better, though, because it's more likely to be back up in time for the boss, I think. I'm gonna jump. Um, I'm gonna jump with one crew on my ship and my stuff refreshing. Do I, Am I okay with that? I want my hacking to be... I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump away to deal with this border. Means I lose one reset chance, potentially, maybe. Okay, empty jump, not ideal. If I get a weapon hack, this is... My my least two favorite hacks when I have a build like this is weapon and hacking hack. Uh, but I still should be able to get some decent crew kills. So I can still go one, two, three. So I have one reset opportunity. So maybe I didn't lose a reset opportunity. Or it might be fine. Okay, so let me let me think how we're doing this fight. Um, was that a 10 power enemy? Yeah, dive in sector 8 is going to be pretty crazy. We hack shields. Um, small bomb the missiles. Burst laser to the missiles and then dual laser shields and flat the shields. Goal is to get missiles offline, eventually get a fire in the shields if we can, and just crew kill that way. That's the goal. Crew kill all but one. Where is the hack? Do I reset or do I allow that? I think 
think I allow that. It's my second least favorite hack for this build, man. It even delays my hack, which is so Please, annoying. Give me a goddamn break, you cheating ass mother effing game. Good dodges. Let some in. So the my control guy is dead. Problem is his missiles. Uh, not down. Oh, it didn't kill my. Uh, didn't kill the drone being there. That's great. So that's a crew kill there if that hits. Good. Come on, get some fires. Get some fires. No fires. Hit. Good. Okay, another crew kill. If I can get another crew kill, one more bomb there would be amazing. Uh, actually, I kill him now and it's a uh, side room bug. Let's take that. Okay, that was pretty good crew kills. Not perfect crew kills because we got zero fires from all of our lasers and the hacking hack. Let them run in out of shields more than I wanted. But still a very good phase one, so I will not be too sad about that. And we can maybe even get some more scrap from here. Yeah, zero fires. Should've got firebomb. Misplayed. Okay, missile down. Why he dodged every fucking shot? I hate this fucking okay. Okay. This isn't this isn't not enough time, so I don't care about the crew kill. But if I can get one, I mean, cool. Okay, it's fine. Holy crap! Holy crap! That was a crazy reward. I kept my small bomb on my bar in case I needed to go for a crew kill, but since we don't, this, this, and I don't want to do this order. I want Flak and Halberd Beam to always be online, so two, three, four, one is how I'm going to do this, I think. Uh, we got one fire when he was cloaked, they immediately put it out. Did you see that? Or? Yeah, we're not going to run out of missiles, but I'm not using Pegasus. It's worse than all these weapons, pretty much. All right, well, we have some extra scrap. Uh, what do I get? Value points I didn't get yet. This one, this one, this one. Every value point. Okay. This we back up battery, our hacking, and our engines. Deal with our border. Uh, the zone. The uh, boarding drone with these with these three guys. Okay, good. Oh, you saw on the bottom icon that it was on fire. Gotcha. I was say, if it, they were cloaked, how did you even see? But that's that's a good way to good way to tell. Okay, so he currently has three more crews. So if I can get one or two more kills, I would like that. Not required, but would be nice. No missiles for you. Beautiful. Alright, I want them through and fighting in this room. Beautiful. Okay. Alright, I got, I think, two more crew, one or two more crew kills there. Not too shabby, not too shabby. He was trying to kill that guy who was running the heel bay, but he was not low enough health. I would have needed to do the the swipe, the two-hit swipe or something. You played too many no-sensor ships where that helps you know if there's a fire system on your own ship. Oh, okay. 
All right, 26 scrap. Does that get us anything? No. Okay, so we have some amount of boarding to deal with. Do I want to lose shield training to refresh you? I don't feel like it's that important, so I'm going to not do that. If we follow him in case we need to use abduction strats. We probably won't need to. There was one in the side room, so two left. Thanks, Pie Boy. So that should mean only one border, hopefully. One or no borders would be great. One border. Beautiful. It was the guy that we tried to kill. Okay, no cloaking first missile. Let it hit. Be prepared to repair. Not my weapons, God please. Okay. Not ideal. Okay, we're through, though. These fucking dodges! Okay, it's fine. Mumbay. Missiles are down. I don't have cloaking for this. Wow. Okay. Crap dodges. It's fine. We won't let our NG die. GG cookie time. Five damage boss fight. Slug A. 37 wins in a row. Not too shabby. What a run that was. That might be an over 6k run. That might be over 6k. Uh, 37 in a row. That is... Let me get this marked off. Slug A down. And for the betting believers, rejoice. Wow, 1% did not believe I'd win it. You all are very much believers. Let's check that score. Yeah, 6382. That was that was a pretty good run. Pretty good run. How far before the next milestone? I don't even know what the next milestone would be. Uh, second full streak? I don't know. Is there a link Link with streak records? Um, it's the Crow Ravel spreadsheet and probably Sleeping Dragon or somebody has a link to that. Let's check what the uh, numbers look like. Yeah, really good Sector 1. Sector 2 and 3 were okay. Sector 5, Lanius was bad, but then 6, 7, 8, quite good. Quite good. I would say this sector with the Lanius bomber that killed our Zoltan was the low point of the run. Well, apart from jump 1, free 5 hole damage, but apart from that, can't really complain. Thank you for the 370 bits, Contestool. Appreciate that. Uh... First two names on the next ship are on you. Okay, goodness. You're just buying drinks at the bar, Tuberjet. Well, that was a good run. So, my friends, y'all feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack. I'm a Sam Church, use restroom. When we come back, we'll random another ship. I'm only doing two, as usual. Uh, whether it goes longer or is a fast run. Uh, but I uh, hope everyone's having a great 4th of July, and we'll see fireworks and all that stuff. But y'all enjoy a chair, chair ad time, and I'll see you in a bit, my friends.